Hello guys, this is gonna be my first video on uh, Linux Guy YouTube channel. Uh, so uh, in this video, I am gonna show you how to uh, enable or disable turbo mode uh, in Intel uh, Core i3, i5, and i7. Uh, by the way, I will also show you how to uh, reduce the clock speed of uh, these processors and also uh, I, I am not uh, able to overclock the processor, but uh, we can uh, change the uh, change the clock speed of the processor. Uh, most of the time, uh, we need to uh, change the clock speed because uh, of the battery issues. In laptops, uh, we will get a poor backup uh, if we uh, uh, didn't reduce the clock speed. And it is the uh, basic issue with uh, Linux users, uh, which is uh, which are using uh, laptops. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, you have to open a uh, terminal window. Then uh, you have to type sudo minus s. Okay. Uh, then you have to enter the password. Uh, but I have entered the password already, but, uh, so that uh, it is now in the root mode. Now uh, you have to go to um, root directory. Then uh, there is a folder called um sys yeah there's a co folder called sys uh in that uh there is a directory called uh devices then uh uh there is a directory called system go to system uh, in that you will find CPU, go to CPU, uh, so you can see that uh, there is an uh, Intel vState directory, that's actually the one which is governing uh, the speed or clock speed of the processor, it's actually Intel driver, uh, so let's go into that uh, directory. Intel uh, P state. Uh, you can see uh, five files, right? So the first file uh, is uh, how much maximum uh, voltage or how much maximum power uh, the motherboard has to deliver to the CPU. Uh, then the second is uh, how much minimum power it has to deliver to CPU. Then uh, no turbo. Turbo, you know the turbo uh, boost more, right? Uh, when there is a uh, one uh, one core, one or two cores is working in the maximum speed, and uh, the uh, CPU has uh, the power to change uh, most of the power into that cores and increase the clock speed. That is Intel uh, Turbo Boost. So we can uh, we can uh, disable that. Uh, that will consume a lot of power in uh, mobile devices. Uh, that's it. So first of all, uh, we have to type cat. Uh, we have to type uh, value in percentage. For example, I am going to uh, change my CPU into hundred percentage. Then we have to. Uh, 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 we have to uh, uh, echo this into sorry cat it's not cat echo we have to echo uh, this hundred into a file name called uh, max perf pct so uh, it, what we have done is we have uh, changed the processor state to hundred percent power uh, so the processor will be working at hundred uh, percent power. There is a cool utility called uh, i7z uh, uh, which will monitor the clock speed. Uh, i7z. So, uh, we can see that uh, it's actually uh, not working in the full speed because uh, I am not using the full potential of this processor. Uh, let's test this. Uh, C8. 
Okay. Now it's working on the full speed, right? You can see uh, the turbo is appearing. That is uh, infinite. Some uh, some of the codes are going to infinite. Let's stop this nonsense. So let's uh, uh, decrease the power to fifty percent. Now we can stress. You can see that uh, the clock speed decrease. Uh, so this actually uh, decreases the clock speed. Uh, if we want, we can uh, turn off the turbo also. So I will be turning to 100% power. Then uh, we, uh, if we have to turn off the uh, turbo boost, we have to echo 1 to uh, no turbo. That is no turbo, you know, uh, 1 and 0, uh, they are binary digits. 1 means yes and 0 means no. So, uh, we are going to echo 1, 2, no turbo. Uh, so, now we have disabled uh, turbo boost mode. Now, we can stress. Uh, Actually, it will work, but uh, in this case, it is not working because uh, my uh, processor is actually having 4 gigahertz. Uh, I can make it work. Uh, let's press two, uh, two or one CP. So now you can see that uh, it is not uh, uh, going to 4 gigahertz. Uh, 4.2 gigahertz is uh, uh, turbo clock speed for my processor. Uh, if I, I can uh, echo 0 to it, I can show you. You can see that uh, one of the core is exceeding the clock speed. I am having an Intel uh, Core i7-6700K. So, it's actually uh, should be working, right? Yeah, anyway, uh, I have used this and it actually works. Uh, so, we can actually increase the minimum power. So, let's uh, go 100 to uh, minimum uh, uh, PCT. I think PCT. Uh, stand for power control something like that. I don't know then. We, we have echoed 100 to that far. So now you can see that uh, the clock speed all will increase into the maximum clock speed. So by this way uh, you can uh, consume more power or less power. Uh, that's actually your choice. Uh, I hope it works for you and it only works for uh, i3, i5 and i7 and some of the i3 does not have uh, this capability that is Intel uh, P-State but most of the i3s have so uh, you just try it on computer anyway uh, don't try it in a virtual machine also uh, because it will not work it, it should have the uh, control to the uh, kernel itself that is uh, the main kernel which is controlling the hardware then only it will work so try it in a physical machine with a Ubuntu or a Carl Linux or any any of the Linux distributions so bye